we're getting a sandstorm right now, uh, which is awesome. It's my favorite. Uh, fortunately, on this version of the game, it doesn't last that long. Not like it used to. It used to last for like an hour and a half on ASE, I think it was. I'm not sure if that's correct. But it only seems to last a couple minutes now. So we'll try to talk through this. All right, all right, and welcome to another episode of Ark Survival Ascended here with Darby Topknot on the Ark and Art server. How's it going? And today we want to unlock the green drops. And in order to do that, we have a couple things we have to accomplish first. Number one, go get Crystal Disc. She's out in the desert, uh, probably has built a great base by now. And number two, we have to upgrade our own little base. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Some things have happened since the last episode. Uh, some good, some not so good. We've killed a number of raptors out here. Uh, right now we're literally just trying to survive the night and you can see that we're standing in fire just to stay warm enough. Uh, we do have a, a new Jerboa, ears, and we have a little friend here uh, that you remember. And I'm sure as you can hear, um, there are some other members of the family inside our little shack. So uh, we've already started our Jerboa collection. Uh, one of them has a mutation, which is awesome. When we accomplish these tasks, which is go get CD and then also upgrade our little base here a bit with some wood, we will then be able to move up in level to just below the next level where we get the blue drops which i believe is at 30 so we will go up to level 29 and what that'll do is it will speed things up and um, let us accomplish those things more quickly and also make sure we have the ingrams to build what we need to build in order to get to the next one uh we're gonna wait out the night and then we're gonna go um try to find cd in the meantime though i think um okay real talk I don't think our little friend here can handle the trip over to go find CD. Uh, we need to upgrade a little bit. I don't think he heard us. All right, so we are trying to get... Oh, I see something running. Is that another raptor coming after you? <laughs> this place is infested, guys. Um, we're trying to get a higher level parasaur. And here's a 150 female. You can see she's messed up. She was the victim of um, raptor violence. And so uh, we are going to go over and get the 145. Uh, we have been joined by CD. How's it going? Hey, it's your girl CD. What's up? And we do have this 145 male. So eventually we will get both of these guys but for now uh we're gonna start with him and we're gonna see if we can boomerang him fast enough to get him unconscious This is the worst idea anyone has ever had. Oh, wait. Something is fighting something. Is that a Deodon? Yeah, Deodon. Or, nope, it's a Saber. <laughs> so, oh, we forgot about the Sabers, of course. Yep. So, <laughs> I'm running as quickly as I can. <laughs> Which is not all that quickly. I'm shooting a... Uh, Raptor right now. Oh, 
Let's see if I can beat this dude. Come on. <laughs> Take him out. Ooh, that was a headshot. 106. Nice. Get him. <laughs> Are so, you across the river or across the lake area? I'm over by... Oh, okay. Um, I'm the guy running from the raptor. Oh. Well, that certainly does narrow it down if I can find you. <laughs> there, now I'm on top of a rock. One second. <laughs> Saber decided to say hi. <laughs> Uh-oh. Kind of feels like Thyla territory. Found you! Da, 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 oh, da, there da, you are. <laughs> da, 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 da. How'd you get a terror bird? How'd you get an actual mount? <laughs> what are you talking about? 85's not that bad. Just don't listen to him. <laughs> okay, guys. So now the trick will be to get back, and then we have to go ahead and upgrade the base real quick. Um, I don't think we're doing that well right now. Uh, well, our dude's healing up. So, cool. Let's go ahead and do this. All right. We need to make a stop at my place, though, unfortunately, because i got to bring my things. Oh, where's that? And i got to get you some food. Okay. Not a word about this in the comments. <laughs> the story well, is... Know. The story is... That we came <laughs> to save CD. Not the other way around. <laughs> that just looks like Adobe. It's not Adobe. That's mud. No, that's Adobe. <laughs> awesome. We'll, uh, we'll bring you guys back when we're heading our way back over there. Okay, guys. So we are on our way back. Yes, I admit it, CD is way ahead of me in this game. That's okay though, because um, there's a raptor. <laughs> at least that improves. <laughs> <laughs> at least that improves our. Oh wait, what's that? Okay, they're running from something. It improves oh, yeah, our chances of getting back alive. So. Place where we're gonna build the town. This is possibly the finest place on the map. I approve. Yeah, it's it's relatively flat, um, and then over here there's actually a place that has 100% winds. Ah. And there's Who needs generators. <laughs> yeah, there's a um, water source over here too, so we can use that at the beginning. But this is the place. All right, so task number one complete. Um, we rescued CD. Woo! Yes, you did. <laughs> um, and I feel so much safer. We actually survived. I'm, I'm shocked. I think we were pretty lucky with the lack of things that really attacked us and the fact that CD has a terror bird. Good job. So now Thanks. I need to take, <laughs> take this it. guy here, make up some wooden pieces, and then begin building out just a wooden platform. And then we can level up and have access to the green drops, which will really help us over here. And then we'll be able to move on to getting the blue drops. All right, so we don't have the materials or the engrams uh, to build that much, but we're going to build a little outpost here to serve as a base while we're getting ready to build the town itself. And so we'll go ahead and get that started. I'm going to make it eight foundations. And so we'll get those laid down. And I think having it longer like this, because I'm going to want to bring the dinos in at night. I think that's a good idea. 
so uh, we're, <laughs> we're gonna have to make several trips and um, you know I noticed that there's a parasaur over here that's kind of stuck in there and if you are a good level you're gonna be my next buddy wait what level is that 105 that's our next friend so um, <laughs> I'm gonna tame this parasaur I'm gonna make some more wooden stuff and uh, then we will bring you guys right back. We've got our first sandstorm coming. Oh, that looks so ominous. The Jerboa have been going off. Look at it coming in. Wow. Um, I'm gonna have to go inside, I guess. That thing looks amazing. And here, you can see why we want access to the blue, to the green. We've had all sorts of drops happening. It happens across the ridge over there, and then it happens right here all the time. And they're red, they're yellow, they're blue. And um, one actually came down that was red with a ring, so we weren't able to grab that. Uh, CD was thankfully able to, but we don't get to use any of that stuff, um, not until we get to that point. And wow, look at that thing coming in. Let's go ahead and uh, head back down. Yes, I'm sure you can see that there's a little bit of a difference between Crystal Disc's little hovel and my amazing thatch hut over here <laughs> with a tumbleweed. Um, not a word, not a word out of you guys. <laughs> okay. So we're going to stop playing until this is gone, and then we'll be right back. I don't know if you're seeing what I see. This bluish purple with the orange. Is that our new theme? Because this is a level 150. Which means as soon as we get this thing we're building up here built and we can go up, we're taming that guy. Uh, so as soon as we're able to um, finish our little quest here and uh that was a baby that we found wandering around so we just tamed it up it doesn't doesn't count towards any uh, achievement or anything but awesome to have around because i believe it's mutated yeah it was it was a 132 so it was mutated but this one that's going to be our new best friend as soon as we get the ability to unlock the green stuff which will take us to level 29 i believe all right people so here we go. This is what we get. Um, we had, I think, three pieces that we could make, uh, given our current situation, but we have uh, successfully done a bunch of stuff. We killed something with the bow and arrow. We went and saved CD, even though she actually saved us and didn't need help. Um, and we upgraded our little temporary base to this. So I don't even have the Ingrams to make doors, but this has to be good enough. It gets us up to level 15, um, which gets us the green drops. And uh, so then we'll be able to actually go up to level 29, which is right before the blue ones. What we have to do now to get up to the next set of levels, so to get to the blue drops, we're on the green drops to get to the blue drops and level up past level 30 is we need to build the first adobe building so we need to build the first real building out here on this plane this plateau here 
and that will be the beginning of the town. I think for right now we're going to start working on that. We have to gather up a ton of stuff and uh, we will get that going and bring you guys back. Look, we have a Jerboa out here who seems to have fallen asleep just out in the desert. Oh, there we go. We did end up giving it some berries to see if we could help it out. Oh, hi. Who are you? Let's see. Can we... There we go. There's another 150. <laughs> so funny. Um, and where's the other one? It had a baby out here. So we found a 150 with two babies. <laughs> there we go. So now you see what happens and why we end up with so, so many of these dudes. Okay, so a few things have happened. It is several days later. <laughs> um, I'll explain why in a few minutes, but um, we got sick of being attacked, so we put up a big fence. And so you can see that our guys are a little bit more protected. We do have a great number of raptors. We have a bunch of parasaurs. Um, we actually have some guys out there too who are gonna be going with us. But um, yeah, you'll notice we have a couple Dodicarus as well and that was that 150 that we found and there happened to be a 145 so we did another tame which also took about six months so cool we're going to go over and begin work on this general store and uh, as we go over I'll kind of explain you can see nothing special just enough to keep stuff from running up there every seven minutes and attacking my dudes I wanted to build here, right? Start on this side because then we kind of come up from over here. This is the way, you know, even when you're going out to the super desert that's over there, you know, with the Rexes and the deathworms and all that stuff. We come up this way and I was gonna make it go across, but for some reason, there are a lot of areas here where we just can't build. Even when you clear them, they don't say they're obstructed or anything. They just won't let you build there. And so what we ended up doing is, if you see that pillar out in the distance there, we are going to start from this side over here. And then if we have problems moving forward, we will... Oh, good. Um, excuse me, sir. Can you please move yourself and your friend there and not be here while we're building? I'd appreciate it. So um, yeah, anyway, we're gonna start over on this side and work from here. And you can see that we have laid out the foundation as always, and it seems like it's easier to get things put in place over here. Okay, so a um, little bit of a slight delay. We're getting a sandstorm right now, uh, which is awesome. It's my favorite. Uh, fortunately on this version of the game, it doesn't last that long. Not like it used to, it used to last for like an hour and a half on ASC, I think it was. I'm not sure if that's correct, but it only seems to last a couple minutes now. So we'll try to talk through this um, and you can take a look in the lightning. This area that I'm standing in right now, that's going to be the entrance and it's not going to be enclosed, right? So that it's going to be like a little terrace or, um, you know, just an entryway. And you're going to enter the actual building right here. And like I said, we're doing the whole Victorian slash Van Helsing thing. I'm going to try to merge those two design patterns together and see what we get. But uh, we'll have a front of store and a back of store. And what we're going to do for today is lay out the basics and basically get an Adobe structure that we can deal with. I'll probably use some of the um, new skins that they have for the building pieces and we'll go from there but i want to get this in place and then we can level up and we can go ahead and uh move on and get ourselves those utility dinos <laughs> that will help all of this go much much faster what we want to start with 
is getting, let's see, we will go with this option right here. So this is the way that I want people to come up into this. And so if we take a look from overhead, then you'll get the idea where we're coming in like that. And then these sides here, well, let's see, should, yeah, these sides here, um, I want this to be the open place. And you know what? I think I'm gonna take those off of there. So this will be closed in with rails. And uh, let's go ahead and get some of that started. And we'll figure out what style of rail and everything for now. I'm just gonna be putting in the Adobe versions of it. And um, as we move through, we'll figure out the aesthetic we really want. And so you can hear the gerbo <laughs> is going off again. Uh, so we have something coming in. I think that's a, a lightning storm. Yeah, okay, so if we do this, then as we're coming up, it's an inviting way to come in. And people will be coming from over here. And let's do this without getting attacked. So if you look down there, that is a pathway up. So we're gonna have it coming up here. We're going to try to put the train station over there and then this over here will be the town. And so if we turn around and we look like we're coming back this way, then this should be a good open section for people to walk up into. And so from here, we will move into the building proper. I'm gonna put doorways across here and that'll be a double doorway. And then over here, we'll start with this to here being the front of store. I'm going to do something a little bit different on the shape as we move along. But uh, for today, we're gonna get this front of store done. We'll get the back of the shop done. And you'll notice we have one of these to deal with as well. And then I'll get the smithy and all the forges and everything else from over there. And I'll get them installed here. I'll bring the Jerboa over and everything like that. Let's go ahead and build the entrance. Uh, we are going to start with these cool pieces here. And actually, um, we will put that there. Yes. And then this part, we're going to make just a normal wall because we are going to use those new Bob's structure skin thingies on it. And over here, what I'm thinking is that we'll use a combination of the quarter walls and normal walls. And actually, let's don't start that there. I'm going to pick that up. We'll do another large wall here, and then we'll do the quarter walls out that side. So let's put those in. Pretty simple. And the reason being that it will give us a different feel from the outside when we put those other pieces on, right? So instead of just having what is essentially a giant box, we're going to be able to have a little bit more texture and a little bit more um, variation to the build itself. So let's put a whole wall and then we'll go with the quarter walls over here. There we go. And the idea is that in this front part, we are going, <laughs> there goes CD. We're going to have a second story up there, um, but this obviously isn't tall enough for my view for a Victorian or black foresty or, um, Transylvanian type of store. So we need to go up a bit more and then, um, wow, this guy here is really cool. And you can see that all of the drops are out. This is like the best place on the map for the drops. CD has been running around grabbing red drops all night so far. Oh, and there's another one right over there. So from here, especially once you get a wyvern, you're just, you'll be rich. So let's see, uh, I'm going to pull out these pieces and 
we go place. Okay, so let's do this from the outside because then we'll have a better view of what's going on. And so we'll put that there. And we are going to paint these eventually, as always. Um... There we go. And then over here, I think that the storefront should kind of have a window there. And it'd be cool if you could make it kind of a, a rundown looking window. I'll look and see what I can do about that as we move on. This, we actually only have one thing we can do with. And so if you take a look, actually, let's get up on this guy. You'll see that having the different types of pieces in there just gives you a lot more variation on the way things look, right? So instead of just all being this giant piece, we can have things going on where it looks like um, someone cared about building this thing when they did it. And uh, then obviously the zombie apocalypse came and um, they didn't care anymore. Cool. So I'm going to continue on and we will, uh, let's do one of those speedy up bits while we put the rest of this together. Okay, so we have been working for quite a while and I'm gonna take you around, show you what we've done and I believe we are done for the day at this point. So the objective once again was to build our first Adobe structure and uh, just make it good enough that we could use it to not die. And so I think we've done that. I'll show you uh, what we've done so far. This is what's going to become the general store. 
but we have a lot more stuff to do to it. So let's go ahead and um, I'm not sure about a lot of the stuff right now. And in fact, I'm seeing a thing. I think I might actually take out the center of that um, there, but a lot of these Victorian and kind of Van Helsing-esque buildings have these domes, these uh, towers that aren't really towers. Oh, and if we hurry up, there's a blue drop that we'll be able to get. Um, so we decided to go with that. And what I'm going to do is as we move forward, I'm going to build up the rest of it. So it'll be pretty tall and that will actually be shorter than the rest of the house, um, or store. Uh, I imagine somebody lives on the second level and above. I haven't done anything to these foundations outside because I haven't decided whether I want to do the um, stone cladding and stuff on the outside. We'll have to see what happens. But you'll see I used um, the structures from Bob's stuff and things and um, used pillars and beams across there to cap those pieces off and then the thinner pillars to go up to the top so that they don't um, you know kind of absorb too much of the sunlight around them you can still see through there okay and that up there is a terrace that is not as deep as this part out here and you can see that we did stick with what we were doing on the outside there will be a second story right up there that that goes out to and i'll show you kind of how we got around to that and my jerboa right now is telling me that it's gonna rain soon so this will be the front of the store and you can see that I use the quarter walls because I'm going to actually put shelves there to put stuff on and then put um, like little containers and stuff that people can come in and go ahead and take what they need. So this is going to be a lot like the um, take an item, give an item, welcome center thing that we have over on the island. Back here, this is where I'll do my work for now. Um, obviously, I'll have a new place at some point, but for now, this I think is a is a good location for that. So the idea is to make it so that we can begin our work and make it easier to get the Adobe <laughs> that we need tons and tons and tons of. Um, and so the way we do that is by leveling up to the next thing. So we currently have the ability to get the green drops, which is awesome. Um, and that means I believe we're at level 29. If we go to 30, we get the ability to get those guys, the blue ones. And that is what this little project was about. So putting it together. And um, so now we're gonna move up to there and that's where the Dodicarus, the Anki, and the Thorny Dragon come in. So we'll be able to get those. So that'll be part of the next quest that we're on. And we already have the Dodicarus. Uh, you know, you don't pass up the 150 when it comes by, but uh, let me show you just a couple other things um, out here. Oh, and look at this. It's an automatic door when you put that skin on it. And I will be painting all of this stuff, by the way. So I just need to see um, what colors we want to use and all of that. So this is a little balcony, obviously. And what I noticed was that a lot of these kind of Victorian houses and stuff they have these little balconies at just about every room and they're all separate there it's not like some of the plantation style stuff where you see there being a balcony that goes around the entire thing it's there are these little bubbles on the outside that are barely big enough to even walk out on and so we're going to be using that style but i thought this was a good way to start figuring out how to do this and so obviously not a complete build it is not done by any means, but um, good enough for now, good enough to level up. So we're going to go ahead and call this a day and do our level up. And then we're going to begin on the next episode where we will be trying to get up to the purple drops. And um, so thank you guys so much for hopping on. We really appreciate it. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, comment, all those YouTubey things. And this is Darby Topknot on the Arcanart server saying bye for now.